All right, I know it's been a while, but it's time to talk about our 2021 plans, or lack thereof, for the Thrill Seekers. Hello everybody and welcome to a Thrill Seekers channel update. My name is Chris. So today we're going to be kind of talking about our kind of sort of plans for 2021, although not really plans. Just kind of what we're kind of going to do with this channel. So for Big CTV, my other channel, which if you haven't subscribed, you definitely should do so because we do a lot of great content over there. It was a pretty big year uh, because that channel kind of lends itself to me being able to do all kinds of different content because it's not locked down to a specific genre or type of content. It's a little bit more challenging for this channel because this is a theme park specific channel and we were locked down for months and then even then like theme parks opened up in Orlando but it wasn't the greatest experience to go to them nor is it the most advisable to go to them. So we did a few videos here and there towards the end of the year, but it was not nearly as productive of a year as years past. And that's unfortunate. Obviously I want to bring the most content that I can to you, but I have to look at things from a safety and logistical perspective as well. Um, so in terms of traveling and going to theme parks, last year just was not a good year for that, unfortunately. But the good news is a lot of stuff is supposedly going to happen in 2021, as long as we start start getting back to normal. Everything from new attractions opening at Disney to new attractions opening elsewhere, all kinds of events. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. We're just not sure if it's going to. And that's, I think, the hardest part when it comes to planning what we're going to do on this channel, because we really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, most of the major theme parks are being very smart and not saying a word when it comes to when they're going to open their big attractions, especially the delayed from 2020 attractions like Ratatouille and Iron Gwazi, Avengers Campus. We don't know when any of that's going to open. We can speculate all we want, but we don't know. And I don't think we're going to know until things start to improve when it comes to the pandemic that we're currently dealing with. So it's kind of hard to judge what exactly we're going to do on this channel. Now, I do have a few videos that I am going to do. One video that will be coming before the end of the month is we are going to be bidding farewell to a really unique interactive experience that I loved back in 2010 when it first debuted and uh, it just never picked up as much as we thought it was going to. And that is Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, which is an interactive game at the Magic Kingdom Park where you, you've got these cards and you're able to fight enemies using them. It was a cool concept. I was really into it. I have a book full of those cards and I have a lot of the promotional cards that were handed out for Not So Scary and Very Merry Christmas Party. Uh, it's shutting down at the end of January so we're going to try to do a video where we go to the Magic Kingdom and we play a whole bunch of the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game. So I think that'll be a good time. Other than that, we'll show up at parks when we can. It's not going to be something that's going to happen on a weekly or even monthly basis, at least until things start to go back to normal. The other major concern, which is why I haven't been going to parks as often, is my health. Um, I talked about this a lot on the Big CTV channel, but I have tendonitis in my feet, or at least I did. I probably still do. Um, and that caused having to stand for long periods of time to be very, very difficult, which because of how things are with post pandemic or currently on under pandemic life at parks, you do a lot more standing in line than you would have before. So it made going to parks kind of difficult for me because it was painful to stand on my feet for long periods of time. Now I have been on medical leave, so I'm hoping that my feet have healed or are close to being completely healed so that things can kind of go back to normal, but I don't know for sure. So that is, the other reason why I haven't been going to parks nearly as much as I did back in 2019, besides the pandemic and everything else going on. So obviously we're going to try to do more park videos this year. We're going to try to show off more of the new stuff that's been going on, like the Festival of the Arts just started at Epcot. So I'd like to go see that. Um, a whole bunch of stuff just opened up at Disney Springs. Now, some of that I think is going to be on the Thrill Seekers channel because it's food related but I might do another Disney Springs video. It's been a long time since I've done one of those. So we're gonna try to pepper in some new park videos throughout the year. Um, one of the big projects that I announced last year, which 
is is on hold at least until the pandemic is over uh, is the park review series that's going to take a lot of work and i just don't want to bother doing a park review during the pandemic just because this is not what the parks are going to be like it's not representative of what the parks are gonna be like. And I don't think a lot of people want to remember this period. Like Disney and Universal and all the theme park companies are doing their best to make the parks as good as possible, even during you know the era of social distancing and having to clean constantly. But obviously a lot has been taken away because of that from live shows to character interactions to food locations being closed, events not happening. Like there's so many things that just are not happening because of the pandemic. And I don't think it's fair to judge a park like during the pandemic, just because a lot of the parks would not do well. Like look at a park like Animal Kingdom. That park is suffering so badly because it doesn't have a whole lot of attractions besides, a, it has a handful but all the shows are shut down. A lot of the experiences that people come to enjoy in that park are not open, and I don't wanna judge the park based on that experience. So that series is gonna happen, probably not this year. It might be a 2022 or even 2023 project, but I do wanna get that series off the ground because I think it would be a lot of fun. So that's gonna happen eventually. We're also gonna try to cover as many of the new openings as possible when we can. Um, the big ones for me are obviously Ratatouille. I'm really excited for at Epcot. I think that's going to be a fun one. Icebreaker over at SeaWorld, I think is going to be a good attraction. So I'm excited to check that out. Um, I'm probably not going to cover Velocicoaster because I most likely can't ride it. Maybe I can, I don't know. But I mean, I'll talk about it, but I probably won't be able to actually ride and experience it. Same goes for Iron Gwazi. Um, and then of course, California. <laughs> California is just a mess at this point, so I'm not even going to speculate whether we'll be able to go back to California, although I really want to because it's been a very long time and I miss it, but I mean, we're not going to bother going back until things are pretty close to back to normal. So yeah, this year is going to be kind of tough, um, but we're going to try to do our best and give you as much content as possible. Another thing I want to start doing because again, I had an improvement in my camera technology. Um, I now have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has better low light capability, better stabilization. There's a lot of notable camera improvements, so of course I want to test it on a lot of dark rides. Uh, the first real test was the ET Adventure Universal, and it actually worked really well. If you haven't seen that POV, it's probably one of the best ones we've done in a while. So I might start using my new camera to try to, again, re-record some POVs of classic dark rides like Haunted Mansion or Navi River Journey, just to see how they turn out in the new camera. But yeah, that's kind of our plan. Um, also, if you like the Planet Coaster series, I'm gonna try to bring that back. I only filmed two episodes originally, but I might, continue to design that park or work on a new park and bring that into the channel. Uh, also considering getting Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 on the Switch, maybe I'll do a park on that too, we'll see. But that's kind of our plan for 2021, which is not much of a plan, it's more so there's a lot we'd like to do, hopefully we can do it. A lot of it's going to depend on the pandemic, so we'll see what happens, but we will continue to deliver as much awesome new theme park content as we can on this channel, so keep an eye out. Also, follow me on Twitter at FoolSeekersYT if you want to get a heads up as to when new videos are going to be coming out. I don't commit to a schedule on this channel just because our content kind of comes out sporadically, but if you want to know when we're going to be filming a new session or what kinds of videos will be coming out, follow FoolSeekersYT and I will be sure to tweet out what's going to happen. So that's going to do it for this episode, uh, this announcement video for 2021 plans. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell if you've not done so already. That way you know when new videos drop. Uh, if you enjoyed our content, please hit that like button. Uh, that means a lot and it helps YouTube's algorithm show our content more. So we always appreciate your support and love. And thank you for watching The Thrill Seekers. See you in the new year. Bye.